Thanks to everyone for all the comments in the uh, last videos. A lot of people asked where I got this, where I got that. So what I've done is I've gone through all my old videos and put links in every single one in the description. I also became an Amazon associate, so if you click those links, I get a couple pennies. It's not much, but it helps. Please uh, check out those links. Here's the finished tire carrier with the Max, uh, Mac Y strap. Uh, works well, doesn't move whatsoever. Um, wheel every weekend. Ian killed it. It's a smart plug. I think I showed that in a previous video, but I finally uh, actually tested it and it works great. So here's the water. I finally got the water system done. It's the water fill port. Uh, it's from Turnoverland. I'll also uh, link that in the comments below. Makes it easy and just fill it from a hose. I'm not doing a city hookup because I literally never use it. This I never seen done before in a truck. Uh, this is the exhaust for the furnace. It's actually for a boat. It's a hull through fitting. Obviously the exhaust is just kind of hanging there. I haven't fully mounted it yet. But this is uh, all stainless. The craftsmanship's friggin' amazing. Uh, it's from a company called Sure Marine. I'll link that below also. Um, tested, works amazing. I'm eventually going to get it uh, ceramic coated black. Uh, stainless is pretty gaudy and screams for attention, which I'm trying to stay low key. Finally got most of the water system done. Uh, took a lot longer than expected. Uh, got the compost and toilet mounted. Sorry for the flicker, the LED lights are wigging out. Um, that's the airhead composting toilet um, chose that for several reasons over the um, the other one that every the nature's head mainly because this is a lot better for a wet bath it's a lot better sealed and I like the fan mechanism a lot better and you can dump the pee bottle without having to remove anything else so so far it's perfect it's set at that weird angle because I'm a big tall dude and that's the only way I'm gonna fit on it to go number two that's vent for said number two went with the uh, butcher's block countertop after doing a lot of back and forth Ravati sink I'll link that below a bunch of people also asked how I'm mounting the extrusions to the panels basically using their adhesive the uh, core pop adhesive not drilling into anything and that's just aluminum angle I got and it is rock solid a true induction dual burner cooktop uses a ton of power but I think it's going to be okay the reason why I went with this particular faucet which I saw this idea from uh, 70 Savage also on YouTube is once I get it all up and running <coughs> I can actually pull the faucet out on the hose and use it as a hot water shower outdoors so before it might be a while before I have my interior shower, so this will uh, this will help out tremendously. It's a good idea. Check out his YouTube, 70 Savage. Uh, he does a lot of sprinter stuff. It's actually where I got the idea for the sink and countertop. Absolutely love these windows, by the way. That's all temporary up there. I still need to build all the cabinets. That blue square is going to be the microwave. This was a lot more time consuming than I expected it to be. All this uh, plumbing and water. Uh, had a bunch of weird issues. None of them were my doing. Basically almost every component I bought leaked even though they're higher end better components. So I had to basically take everything apart and reseal it. Um, just what you see here it took me damn near two weeks of trying fitting drying it out with a towel and etc etc this is the iso temp water heater it can be run hydronic with the coolant lines or electric I am choosing only electric for now uh, it's only a 750 watt element so it doesn't draw a crazy amount of power and it heats the four gallons in that tank to scalding hot within an hour this is the clear source three stage filter. Uh, super happy with this product. Also, their customer service is friggin' amazing. 
goes from like 5 microns to 05 microns to 02 microns. Um, it's plenty safe to drink. So this is a basic gist of my plumbing. I have an on and off valve out of the tank into this water pump. This particular water pump I bought, it's a variable speed, so you don't need one of those accumulator tanks and uh, saves a lot of space down there. This is basically how it runs from the pump. So every bit of water in my entire system is filtered because that's the first place it goes. The tea's in there. It either goes this way into the water heater. That's where the hot comes out. And there's the sink valves. Uh, luckily, this sink and those valves from SharkBite basically fit perfectly together. The threads are the same. The fittings are the same. So everything worked out perfectly. Um, it's my first time messing with SharkBite fittings, but I absolutely love them. I'll link all those below. Yeah, these things are qu quite amazing. None of this stuff leaked whatsoever. Um, not, not a single shark bite fitting leaked at all. Um, it was all the other weird stuff that leaked that I had no control over. This is how I'm running. Uh, obviously, the the face of this will be permanent later, but this is just for now. This is where I'm doing my furnace vents. It'll be cleaned up later. This is my distribution panel. is going to be right there where you see those wires. The Airby fridge, this is all set up, so there's going to be another butcher block that's going to go on top of that fridge on a hinge to double the counter space, and you just lift it to get into the fridge. So I made sure I set this at the right height so I can open everything. Nothing uh, hits the back extrusion. Those are my pot pies. Love me some pot pie. There's all my beer and water. So if you see the height, <coughs> this is uh, AC remote, fan remote, dimmer for the lights, all of my phone charging crap. That didn't really come out in the video, but that's my S-Bar furnace control. That's all going to be moved. Um, I'm going to be able to access it from bed and the other stuff. <coughs> this is also just temporary for now. But that's about where my bench is going to go. See, that's where the multi plus is. That's the power of the system. Solar controller, Sterling charger, solar wires. These are all going to be covered with a cabinet panel thing. the multi-controller for the inverter this Serbo X is friggin amazing um, you gotta do your own research on that because it'd take me an hour of video to try to explain it but uh, basically it has anything you can possibly think of um, tells you everything the system's doing and even has included uh, tank monitoring so I'll scroll over here in a second where I can monitor the the uh, level of my fresh water tank uh, quality sucks but you get the idea and I can also view that on my phone remotely so I can always check to see how much water I have took a bit of trial and error to get the right sensor at the right height but I got it all dialed in now so super stoked with this thing uh, this is a touchscreen remote the two top ones are not uh, doing anything because it's not plugged in this I tested very well it's, it is pushing 60 amps while the truck is running to charge the batteries. So I definitely love that. Uh, standard solo controller, nothing too exciting. A battery. It's eventually going to have a real clamp, not just a ratchet strap. But this is all work in progress. Just want to do a video to show some updates because it's been a while. That blue square is probably going to be where the microwave goes. I'm still not 100% sure how I want that set up. That back wall 
There's not too much depth for storage, so I gotta figure something out. This Armacost dimmer, I'm absolutely loving this thing. I'm gonna remount that a little bit lower so I can actually get to it without having to climb in the camper. Just open the door and adjust it. Uh, that back wall is it's gonna take some figuring to make that useful. This other thing is the only thing on my last four wheel camper that I loved. It's the Bullfinch Outdoor Shower. I'll also link to that below. Um, this thing's quite amazing for as simple as it is. Basically, plug this in and it turns your water on and off and it has a built-in mixing valve. So that's your mixing valve right there, hot, cold, and it's really that simple. And I used this probably a half a dozen times with the Fowl Camper and I absolutely loved it. Um, it comes with weird funky fittings, so I had to get a couple adapters to the PEX, which is kind of a pain in the butt and makes it a little bit bigger, but I'll get it to work. And the PEX stuff has been absolutely amazing. Um, first time using it, but zero leaks, and pretty confident it's going to be uh, trouble-free for a 